Hi guys, now thanks for joining me. So we've got another revision story which is gonna help us to actually summarize uh, the, the key learning points that you need to take away and take into the exam regarding theme one's uh, 1 1.2, spotting a business opportunity. Uh, so let's uh, get stuck into this story now. Now, just before we do, uh, remember, you've got to make sure you go back and test yourself on this to see how much you're actually retaining. Be active through this, try and make some notes on it, but let's get going. Right, so picture the scene. We've got two university graduates who uh, decided to go into uh, the popular and well-paid jobs of business consultancy and advertising in the city of London. Now, uh, every day, They'd leave early and commute to work and return home exhausted late at night. They soon began to obsess about setting up their own business. Together, they decided that smoothies might represent an option. Some basic market research through market mapping identified a gap in the market. In fact, there were no other smoothie brands out there. So for six months, they undertook market research on suitable recipes. They tried to establish which products would best respond to their customer needs until one day they attended a music festival where they decided to actually sell their smoothies. They used this as an opportunity to obtain some simple primary market research through speaking to customers about the flavors in an example of qualitative market research where they were able to get customers' opinions in detail. Yet they also obtained quantitative feedback by asking customers to put their waste cups in one of two bins. A question above the bins asked, should we give up our jobs to make smoothies? The bins were simply labeled yes or no. This provided a great survey uh, opportunity. The yes bin was full while the no bin had just three cups in it. The feedback from this quantitative research was overwhelmingly positive. The very next day, the chaps resigned from their jobs, yet it took 15 months to get the product to market. During this time, doubts crept into the minds of the entrepreneur regarding the reliability of uh, the research sources used and the consequent validity of the research. In particular, they wondered whether the sample size was large enough. Further research led the business to actually closely identify a market segment to target. This was largely a market segmentation strategy which targeted customers based upon a lifestyle of being very health conscious. This young target demographic generally have good incomes. This is important as the entrepreneurs knew they would never compete on price with juices and particularly those made from concentrate. To differentiate their products from direct competitors, they focused upon taste, quality, and an expanding product range which was continually reviewed based upon consumer preferences. To encourage customers giving their products a trial, they frequently uh, ran sales promotions, and this helped the business gain market share in the fruit drinks market. Such promotions continue to provide an incentive uh, for customers to try their latest flavors. However, such an intensely competitive environment meant that the business needed to continue to reinvest in developing new product ranges. Today, the business still taps into changing social trends. Recently, they benefited greatly from the increased sales of coconut water and used their social media accounts to engage with their millennial consumer base, running competitions and surveys to better understand their customers. So there we go, guys. What's the business? Well, the business is, of course, Innocent Smoothies. Uh, so what are the key learning points from this? Now, uh, well, first up, we've got that point regarding customer needs, and we, we've also got some uh, points being made regarding market research. Make sure you're good on terms primary, secondary market research, as well as qualitative and quantitative research. Make sure that you can identify different ways of actually um, Get gathering that research and then how that research can then be used. 
Uh, so what about social media as well? Well, we can also bring that one into uh, this uh, learning aim here as well uh, because it's still so relevant. Now, you can, of course, use social media to gather market research and un better understand your consumers. Uh, we've also got points being made regarding the market segmentation. Think about the competitive environment as well. And uh, what about the impact of uh, competition on business decision making here? So there we go, guys. Uh, I hope that little revision story has been useful in just helping you to actually break down uh, 1.2 spotting a business opportunity. Remember to test yourself on this and then come back and test yourself again. Okay, that testing process will really ena enable you to retain lots and lots of key information here. Great stuff. See you next time.